What's up guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel X-Man & Co. Today we're going to make a beautiful chicken curry poiki course. We're taking two dishes, a poiki course and a chicken curry and incorporating them into one. Now if you guys want to see poiki course on its own or chicken curry, we do have videos about that. I'll leave it in the screen for you a little bit later to check out. But guys, this is really for those winter days and it's easy cook. It's only going to take one hour of your time on the fire and it's amazing. This dish has been a request from one of our members. Now, K Gaming, thank you very much for inspiring us to make this video. Without further ado, let me introduce you guys to all our ingredients right here that we're going to use for this beautiful dish. We've got a variety of vegetables and spices here, as any pork you would need. We've got some onions here, some potatoes, some corn. We even got some butternut. Now, guys, that's really going to be amazing. We've got some mushroom, mixed mushroom. You can use just one type if you want. We've got some spices here. Now this curry spice right here, guys, it's a mixture of spices. It's curry, garum, turmeric, masala. Now if you don't know what's in there, we also have a video on a chicken curry that you can go check out and we actually broke down all these spices for you so you know exactly what to do and what to go for. We've got some garlic here, crushed garlic. We've also got some bay leaves dried and then cinnamon sticks. Over here we've got a selection of spices as always guys, it'll be listed in the description for you guys to check out later. Just to mention a few, some barbecue spice, mixed herbs. We've got some smoked paprika, really nice. Also got cayenne pepper for a little bit of a bite. And then straight down curry powder. And then over here we've got some oil. We're using sunflower oil today, you can use whatever you like. Let's not spend all of our time on the ingredients. Let's move on and start this cook. This is our go-to chicken curry poiki course. The reason we love this dish so much is because it seriously is so easy and anybody can do it. Now guys, all the vegetables, we're going to prep them quickly and get them ready and they're basically all going to go in at the same time. You don't get easier than that. So let's move on. We're going to move on to our onions as always. Just remove the skin. Once the skin's removed, you want to just cut it in half. Thereafter, you want to make sure that you get nice, big, chunky pieces out of your onion. We're going to use three onions today. You don't want to go too small because remember guys you don't want this to cook away. Don't forget to wash all of your vegetables. We're moving on to the carrots. We're just going to do about two centimeter cuts. Nice chunky bits. Remember once again it's a poiki course and you want to have some pieces once you're done. We like to add some corn. We're going to cut about four centimeter chunks and guys it's entirely up to you how many you want to use. We're going to use two pieces of corn and that's going to be brilliant. Our mushrooms is already cut. We bought it pre-cut. If you haven't, make sure it's also chunky. Mushrooms cook away very easily. So that's one of the ingredients we're going to hold back on and only introduce it about halfway through the cook. We've got some baby potatoes here. You can remove the skin if you want. We're just going to cut them in half. There's so much nutrition in the skin, so we're going to keep that on. And guys, it's entirely up to you if you decide not to cut them in half, that's also just perfect. Lastly, but not the least, we've got a butternut here. Be careful when you cut it in half, then we're going to remove some of the skin. We don't have to remove all of it. And once again, you can keep it on if you want. We're going to also make sure we've got nice big chunky bits. We might go a little bit on the big side, but remember they love to cook away. Because of the fact that we put all of these ingredients in together, at the same time, it might even cook a little bit further and you might end up with very small chunky bits or they might even cook away completely. Now the star of the show is the chicken. We bought a whole pack full of chicken pieces and that works very well for this dish. You may obviously just take a whole chicken and just break it up. I would say this is about one and a half chicken if I have to take a guess. Now guys, I do have a video on that as well that you can go check out how to break down a chicken and you'll see all these chicken pieces are literally the whole chicken. It's all the thighs, all the breast, everything is included. Guys, we're ready. We can move on to the next step. It's time to get our poiki ready. Let's do that. So guys, there's a few ways of doing this. We believe your spices has to cook for at least two minutes. So it just brings out the flavor and it's just great. So we're going to get the temperature of our oil nice and hot. We're using about half a cup. You can go a little bit more. Remember doing a chicken, you don't want too much liquids as this will just take the poiki core side of it completely out and it'll become a stew. Um, we're going to try and stay to the traditional way of not stirring too much, but I'm going to show you in a bit what I do do. 
with the chicken poiki. In with the spices, let's get all of them in there. Bay leaves, cinnamon sticks, our special mixture. Then a generous amount of garlic. And then you just want to give that a stir. You can see the oil is nice and hot, so it won't take long. We're going to give it about two minutes, just stir it nicely, get it nice and even. And the aroma, guys, is already straight off the bat amazing. Next, it's onions. And guys, we want to brown the onions a bit, so we're going to give it three, four minutes, however long it takes to brown nicely. Stir it occasionally just to make sure the oil really penetrates the onion. These steps are quite important. We're going to add our meat now. Guys, you want to spend also three, four minutes on that. Brown it nicely on the outside. Stir it occasionally. And once you're happy with the brownness of the meat, it's time to move on to the next step. At this point, your heat source is nice and high. Once we've added all the vegetables, it's time to bring it down and we're going to simmer it for the next hour. At this point, you want to add some pepper and salt. Now, guys, just remember, don't be shy on the salt. This is number eight poiki. And if I haven't mentioned before, the meat is about two kilograms, so you can go crazy. Don't be too worried if there's some stickiness at the bottom of this poiki. Remember, we're going to deglaze it in a bit, and I'm going to show you what we do there. Our meat is nice and brown. It's time for the vegetables. We're going to put everything that we've got here, except for the mushrooms, straight into the pot. You want to mix it up nicely, and then we're going to move over to the beef broth. We're going to add about 650 ml of beef broth and 500 ml of water. Now guys, I'm saying 500 ml, but just keep tabs. If you're using a smaller poiki, basically what you want to do is just make sure all the vegetables is almost covered. So let's say about two centimeters just below all the vegetables. That's what your liquid should be like. We're going to give it one last stir. We might move it around a little bit later, but I'll show you what I do with that. It's time to put the lid on and reduce the heat source. At this stage, guys, we're going to give it 30 minutes of simmering, very nice and low. It's time to let your hair down, relax, get a cold one, and just chill. Half an hour into this cook, guys, and now it's time for our mushrooms. So we're just going to take the lid off. We're going to add the mushrooms. And then I want to show you, you're just going to go from the side and just gently make sure two things. You're going to make sure that it's not burning at the bottom and also not stir it, but just move everything away to the middle and just make sure it's all good. We're going to close the lid and we're going to give it another 30 minutes. Guys, the last five minutes of the cook, we're just going to add about 250 ml fresh cream. And then we're going to give it another five minutes. And then this bad boy is going to be ready to be tasted. Boys and girls, as promised, one hour on the fire. That's all you need for this amazing dish. Chicken curry, poiki course. Now it's time to taste. So there's some chicken, as you guys can see. It just breaks apart. That's amazing. Mushroom, a little bit of sauce as well. And look at this carrot just breaking in half. There you go, boys and girls. Cheers. Wow. Mm. Amazing. That's what I was after. That beautiful curry, the richness of the sauce, the cream, and everything just comes together. It's nice and tender. Our vegetables are not totally cooked away. It's, there's not even really a, a little bit of crunchiness, but it's right there. It's still in one piece. Guys, you need your veggies. You need your meat. You need this chicken curry poiki course. This is amazing. Guys, now you know the story. If you like what we're doing, do go like, share, subscribe. Enable those notifications so you guys get notified as soon as we upload a new video. Thanks for watching. We cannot do it without you. We'll see you on the next one. Wow, this is amazing. So tender.